Have you tried out iOS 7 yet? We have. Check it out. What's going on guys? Uh, this is Tony Hannity's with LazyTechGuys.com and just a few moments ago I finally got the update on my iPad to iOS 7. So I decided that instead of going through and just kind of clicking through, I, I would show the, those of you that are out there that haven't yet got the update what exactly you're in store for. So after you download the update, which really takes about 12 minutes to download, then maybe another 10 minutes to install, you get this, a bunch of, uh, you know, hellos, highs, holas, in different languages and whatnot, and swipe, and update, successful, iPad was successful, that's pretty cool, just a few more steps, so, um, if there is, however, something that I'm not supposed to kind of show you, um, I'll turn that off for you, but let's go ahead and enable location services, this would be all of my iCloud information here, and if you want to, you know, iCloud me or whatever it's called, you can always FaceTime me at any point. I'll probably decline it because I'm too busy to talk, but, you know, you can always try. Let's go ahead and go next, and then if I want to find my iPad, I'm not quite sure if I've set this up originally, but uh, if I want to, uh, here is a passcode that I can create, so let's go ahead and create that passcode. Welcome to iPad. Now notice Apple doesn't put the uh, article in there, so it's welcome to iPad, not welcome to the iPad. So iPad is an experience, I guess. Let's get started. Boom! Look, it's all candy. It's weird looking and strange, and I've got new Gmail. So this is definitely something that I was prepared for, but I'm still kind of like getting used to it. So Spotlight has moved. So originally Spotlight was that um, area where if you swipe to the left or swipe to the right it was that whole area where you can just start typing and do a google search or you can go into your contacts now apparently you swipe down from any home screen to access spotlight so let's go ahead and try that swipe down there you go so there's the uh, search ipad right up there so i'll show you that again swipe down boom and you got this kind of bounce feel so what's this kind of cool you swipe up that was to the side and swipe up up there you go, and there's a, I guess that's the control panel, and this is actually really cool. From here you can turn on uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, the, the uh, dimmer, uh, uh, do not disturb, you can turn off sound, here's the dimmer here. Let's see, what is that? Oh, this goes into your timer right away, and then also another kind of handy feature is, uh, it goes right to the camera. So let's uh, check out the camera here. Hi. See, I'm using Galaxy S4. So at least on the iPad, you have a uh, photo, and then you can change it to uh, change the aspect ratio to photo, video. You can just swipe up and down. And then this would be square for Instagram. So say cheese. There you go. All right, so that's how that would look. As you can see, the animation is definitely a lot cleaner, it's a lot smoother. You swipe down to see the notification trail. So here, uh, let's go ahead and use location. Um, it's definitely a lot nicer looking when you swipe down. Obviously, it's uh, in direct competition to Android's notification uh, shade, as well as, you know, to a certain extent, Google Now. Um, and then here, you can see everything that's related to today, uh, the next few days or any kind of missed uh, information related to Facebook, Twitter. I think you can swipe. Yeah, so you can swipe as well too instead of having to tap on every header. Tap up. And then the one thing I really wanted to play around with with you guys here was the folders. So if you remember the folders used to take up maybe three-fourths of the screen. Now it's kind of in the middle here, but you have more pages to the folders themselves. I'm not quite sure if there's a max to the amount of pages that you can have within a folder, but if there's not, then for uh, for example, now I have two different game folders. So I have one games folder and another one. I try to separate them based off of the type of game that there are, but it's really difficult. So now, uh, if we can, we can put all of these games that we have here 
that are actually three pages of games, I can put all of these games in this games folder and just have one singular game folder. And then I have an EA Sports game folder too. So I can get rid of all that, have one game folder, and just make it super, super, super uh, simple. So let me just see if I can do that. Yeah, it definitely looks like it's allowing me to do it, but it's kind of like a long task. I gotta go in the folder, zoom out, go back out of the folder, go into the folder, zoom in, go back out of the folder, zoom out. And uh, although it looks nice, you know, it's kind of a nice transitional feel to it. But it doesn't look like it's, you know, saying that I have a max amount of folder pages that I'm, I'm coming up against my max right now. Um, going into here, I have four, screw, uh, four pages worth of games. And yeah, it's just that much easier to have everything categorized into one singular folder instead of trying to categorize each individual game into a game genre. So, um, going back out there, let's take a look at Safari. So real quick, let's go ahead and go landscape. Cool. So Safari, again, animation looks really clean. Everything is a little blocky here. Uh, let's go to lazytechguys.com, obviously. And, uh, you know, in terms of uh, the speed of the app, it pretty much looks to be the same. Unfortunately, our site's a tad slow on Safari. Uh, but everything looks to me to be pretty much the same. Um, the button up here that's pointing upwards, if you press that, allows you to share it or create it as a bookmark or add the home screen, things like things of that nature. Great review on the Triton Pro headsets, by the way, if you're into new headsets. And then obviously your top billing here for all of the uh, bookmarks that you have on your main page, like 22 Words, Google Trends, Twit Live. And then the uh, gestures are also still the same too. And when you're Closing something, it has kind of a delayed reaction, but it looks kind of cool when you do that. So let's go ahead and open up TwitBot, close it. Yeah, so it looks kind of nifty. But I will sh show you calendar because I don't really put anything here that um, I'm not afraid that you're going to follow me. But the calendar is a little bit, again, a little bit more bubbly looking, but it's just you know easier to see. The colors um, are definitely a lot nicer, a lot. I guess prettier, um, it's a new turn of leaf. It's not as executive looking, it's more fun iOS. That's what they should call it. It shouldn't be iOS 7, it should be iOS fun or something like that. So so yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, I mean overall, uh, you know, it's, it's as expected. It's definitely, you know, evolutionary. It's uh, definitely nicer looking, you know, uh, icons. I know I was very, very vocal about how I felt the icons are really ugly. I think I've Kind of gotten used to it uh, just by the past couple of days just looking at um, what other people have done with their, with beta and everything and uh, yeah I uh, would like to say to Apple good job and um, for those of you that haven't updated to iOS 7 do what I did back up your stuff on your computer and then go ahead and do the OTA backup or OTA upgrade over the air upgrade takes about half an hour or less and um, sometimes it won't do the um, update right away, you're going to have to try, try, try again, but just like the little train that could, it'll happen and you'll be very, very happy. So that's all for me for now. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave that in the section below. If I've missed anything you want to find out more about iOS 7, if there's a feature uh, that you were that you heard at WWDC and you're like, oh, I don't, I don't see you talking about it here, let me know. It might be specific to the iPhone or the iPod Touch. This is just the iPad 3rd Gen or the new iPad. Um, and uh, yeah, everything else seems to be pretty cool, pretty slick, pretty spiffy. So thank you very much for watching and listening, and I hope you guys have a great day. We'll see you around. Bye. Mm -hmm.